Hello everyone, welcome to another question and answer session. Which of the following are not generally supplied by the right coronary artery? So it is on the direct question that which area is not generally supplied by the right coronary artery. So first of all, we have to see the right coronary artery and the supplying area of the right coronary artery. Then it will be very easy for us to find out the area which is not supplied by the right coronary artery. Here are the options the sinoatrial node, the circumflex artery, the atrioventricular node, most of the right ventricle, and the right atrium. So let's see here. So here this we can see this is the right coronary artery. The right coronary artery it arising from the anterior aortic sinus and then it passes to the inter atrioventricular group anterior side and here we can see it uh, gives a different part it supplies the different part of the uh, atrium and ventricle especially it supplies almost all uh, of the right atrium or almost all of the right ventricle then it turns back to the atrioventricular group and finally it reaches in the posterior interventricular group and supplying the area in the posterior interventricular group on the other hand we can see there it is the left coronary artery the left coronary artery is arising from the posterior lateral aortic sinus or posterior left aortic sinus and after arising we can see it uh, reaches in the anterior surface and after uh, racing in the anterior surface it supplies the anterior interventricular groove and the part of the right ventricle which is close to the anterior interventricular groove and it also supplies the anterior parts of the interventricular septum then it gives another branch circumflex artery the circumflex artery rounds back and finally is in the posterior part of the left atrium so from this picture we can see the right coronary artery it arises from the anterior aortic sinus then it gives branches to these atrium and give, uh, right atrium and gives uh, supplied to the most of the right ventricle so most of the right atrium most of the right ventricle it is supplied by the right coronary artery then it uh, goes back and finally releases in the posterior interventricular groove and gives branch to posterior interventricular artery so the right coronary artery it supply a larger area and it is uh, primarily supplies right atrium and right ventricle and it also the right coronary artery supplies the left ventricle but a very small part in the posterior interventricular groove uh, area and it also supplies the posterior part of interventricular septum so in this picture it is also very easy that this is the right coronary artery arising from the anterior aortic sinus and after arising it grab branch to the right atrium we can see the different branch then it gives branches to the right ventricle also except a very smaller part which is close to the anterior interventricular group because here the another branches come from this ascending aorta and we can see this right coronary artery finally reaches posteriorly through the atrioventricular group through the atrioventricular group so the right coronary artery it supplies the right atrium right ventricle also SA node present here so also SA node and AV node also and it also supplies the septum which lies in the posterior interventricular group on the other hand we can see here this is the left coronary artery the left coronary artery arising from the left posterior aortic sinus and after arising it passes and it gives circumflex branch of the left coronary artery here you can see it is the circumflex branch of the left coronary artery which goes posteriorly the heart and we can see it supplies in the left atrium area and it reaches in the anterior interventricular group and gives it branches so the left coronary artery it supplies left atrium left ventricle anterior interventricular group and some part of the right ventricle which is very close to the anterior interventricular group and the interventricular septum which located in the anterior part because the left coronary artery lies in the anterior interventricular group 
so in the next picture here it is the posterior view and from the posterior view we can see here the right coronary artery it reaches in the posterior part of the heart to this area and this is the atrioventricular group that means a group between the atrium and the ventricle and it gives branch to the wall of the right ventricle and also we can see it reaches in the posterior interventricular group and it gives some branches here to the left ventricle which is very close to posterior interventricular group and as they are the branch of the right coronary artery lies in the posterior interventricular group it gives supply to the septum or interventricular septum which is closely related to this posterior interventricular group on the other hand we saw the circumflex branch here this branch this is the circumflex branch of the coronary artery here we can see this is the circumflex branch and this circumflex branch it cover rest of the part of the left atrium that means the greater part of the left atrium so in short uh, if we say the right right coronary artery uh, the right coronary artery right coronary artery supplies the right atrium right ventricle maximum part except a smaller part along the anterior interventricular group then it supplies sa node which lies in the right atrium and a v node which lies which also lies in the right atrium between the right atrium right right ventricle then posterior interventricular group so here this is the posterior interventricular uh, group and a part of the left ventricle which is closely related to the posterior interventricular group then we can see the left coronary artery left coronary artery it, after arising it supplies the left atrium then all of the left ventricle except this part that means which lies very close to the posterior interventricular group because it is supplied by the branch from the right coronary artery and a, a smaller part of the right ventricle because the this part of the right ventricle is is very close to the anterior interventricular group and the septum which lies just below the anterior interventricular group that means the anterior part of the an interventricular septum it is supplied by this artery and this is the anterior interventricular branch from the left coronary artery so here we can see the circumflex artery because the circumflex artery not uh, this is the circumflex artery and the circumflex artery is a direct branch of the left coronary artery so the circumflex branch it is not by the right coronary artery other branches such as the sinoatrial node atrioventricular node most of the right ventricle and the right atrium they are supplied by the right coronary artery so here we can see the right coronary artery supply area first of all this is the right atrium then right ventricle almost all part posterior third of the interventricular septum then sinoatrial node and atrioventricular node the left coronary artery also supply the sinoatrial node and atrioventricular node but they are less percentage they are in case of sa node it is 40 percent and in case of atrioventricular group it is 20 percent so our final answer the circumflex artery the circumflex artery is not a branch of the right coronary artery and not surprised by this thank you